Hello everyone, welcome to Prep Coding. Today we are going to solve a question ring rotate. So let's go on the board. I will explain you the question first, then we will look for the solution. Okay, so the question says that we have a 2D here. So let me draw a 2D array first. One one uh this color. We change the color. So the array is one one, one two, one three, one four, one five, one six. 2 and 4 6 Five five and five six six one six two six three six four six five and six six. So this is the two D error that we are given. What we have to do? We have to rotate a shell inside this. So what is shell? Let me explain you the shell first. This is shell number one. This is shell number two. Basically, the ring that we are forming, it is the shell. This is shell one. Inside this, this is shell two. And here, this is shell three. Okay. So, we have to rotate this shell. It means what we have to do? We have done similar question in 1D array where we are given 11, 12, and 13. If you have, if I have to rotate this array by one, what it means? It means we take this value at the front and these two values will be at back so the result will be 13 11 and 12 but in 2d array what happens if i have to rotate the shell number two by one what it means it means it will be rotated in anti-clockwise direction so 22 will be 23, 32 will be 22, 42 will be 32, 52 will be 42, 53 will be 52, 54 will be 53, 55 will be 54, 45 will be 55, 35 will be 45, 25 will be 35, 24 will be 25, 23 will be 24. This will be the result. Okay. So how we are going to achieve this? So, first of all, what should be our approach? We are aware of how to rotate in 1D array. So, if we fill this ring, like if we fill the values of this ring in 1D array, then rotate that 1D array and put back in this shell, what happened? The ring will be rotated. Okay. So, the three steps for approaching this question is first, fill 1D array. After that, Rotate that one year. After that, fill back. Okay. In these three steps, this shell will be rotated. So let's go on the editor, write some code, and we will explain in between what we are doing. So first of all, let's make it full screen. Now let's go. So of all, we have to define a scanner. Turn to ten. Then in ten for the number of rows. Okay, this is done. In ten for number of columns. Okay. Now we have to define one array equal to new end and cross m this is it now we have to take the data and i equals to zero y is less than n a plus plus inside this one more for loop equals to zero j is less than m j plus plus this is done now we will store the value inside this
we have the values now now what we have to do we have to take the shell number which we have to rotate we have the shell number now now by how many number we have to rotate we will store that in r okay this is done now let's see here yeah. yes first we take the length of this power array then we will take the elements after that the value of s and after that the value of okay this part is done okay so this is done now what we have to do yes yeah we have all the values now as we have decided the first step was filling 1d array okay so we will fill 1d array first int here we have defined so give it some other name 1d is equal to fill 1d and inside this what parameters we are going to pass going to pass our array and the value of s number of shell it will give us a 1d array filled with the value of shells okay after that what we are going to do for that we are going to rotate this 1d array so rotate function inside this 1d and r how much number we have to rotate this part is also done now what we have to do after that we have to fill back the shell so for that we call a function fill back inside this we are going to pass a 1d array the main array and the value of hash these three steps that we have decided is done we have fill 1d array then rotate that 1d array then fill back okay now let's go write the code for that fill 1d array and then rotate and then fill back so we have already done rotating in 1d array so that is very easy just suppose 3 2 4 1 this is a given 1d array we have if we have to rotate it by 1 what will happen this one is gone from here and it will come at the front this is the rotation in 1d array okay is this the same thing we are going to implement it here if you want more brief discussion about 1d array rotation go and watch that video in which we have discussed okay so yeah we have to if public is static and fill 1d we have an array and one integer yes okay so for filling 1d array first we have to traverse on that shell so for traversing on this shell what we need we need one starting point and one ending point like if we have these two parameters we can easily traverse on this shell as we have discussed in the question of spiral display so let's go and implement it here okay so first of all int min row will be zero it was zero for that shell but here what it, it will be the min row what it will be let me tell you like if the value of s is 2 we have to get the minimum value for this so if s is 2 the value is 1 1 let me write the index first so 1 2 3 4 5 okay so the index will be 1 1 if the shell is 1 the index will be 0 0 and for this the index is 2 2 and if you are talking about this the end line this index will be 4 and 4 okay because 4 from this side and 4 from the column this will be the last point how we calculate this how we get a relation for this just suppose the s is 1 and the starting point is 1 1 so it is s minus 1 and s minus 1 
both these things the starting one and here this one what is this the length of this array is 6 so the index for the row is 4 that is 6 minus s that relation comes here is l minus s and the same for the column the length for the columns is 6 and the value of s is 2 so l minus s the same value we will put in the formula so here the minimum row is s minus 1 and the minimum column is s minus 1 we got the minimum row and the minimum column so for max row what we are going to do max row the max row will be arr dot length minus 1 that is for that but here what we have to do minus okay now int max column for this what will happen arr 0 dot length minus s okay so we have implemented this part here this part for getting these values for maximum row and maximum column of this ring and we have also calculated the minimum row and minimum column for that ring now what we need to do after this we need to calculate the total number of elements that we are going to store in the 1d array that will define the size of 1d array okay so and size is equals to now let's discuss this what will be the size if we are talking about the second shell what is happening here here we have four elements then at this point we have three four elements then at this point we have four elements here we have four elements but if we like we have discussed in the spiral question if we move on the left wall we store all the elements if you move on the bottom wall we store all the elements if you move on the left right wall we store all the elements if we move on the top wall we store all the elements what will happen we will get all the elements but the same thing will happen again these elements will be repeated we have to cut them down okay so let's go for calculating the size what we have to do we have to move on the left wall plus right wall plus bottom wall plus top and we have to reduce the number of extra element that was four at the corner so i minus just four so now let's go and see how many elements we have on the left wall the left wall was from one to four it means we have four elements okay so if i subtract max row to max uh, min row what we will get we will get four minus one is equal to three so this is one less than number four so we will add simply one so the formula came from here is max row minus min row plus one that will be the number of number of elements present in the left row in the left wall okay so let's go for the formula here the left wall will be max row minus min row plus one for right wall what it will be right wall will also have the same number of elements same so the formula is same max row minus max min row plus one okay so let's go write it max row minus min row plus one the bottom wall what order is for the bottom wall we are moving from the min column to the max column so the formula will be same but change just in the column max column minus min column plus one so let's write it down max column minus min column plus one after that about the top wall that will be also same max column minus min column plus one okay this part is done now we have plus one plus one plus one plus one four times and we have a negative four here so this will neutralize this so let's remove this part let's remove this part yeah 
this is a now we have max row plus max row max column plus max column so we can write it twice of max row and twice of max column and in the same way we have min row min row in a with negative sign and min column min column with negative sign so we can easily replace this value with twice of max row minus min row plus max column minus min column and we will erase this part this is the size of the array in which we have to store the elements okay this is it now let's define one mundi array equal to new mundi size is okay we have one dear you know now we have to traverse on that shell as we have traversed on the spiral question okay so now let's go for and i equals to min row and j equals to min column what will happen in the left wall we were moving from min row to the max row so until our i is less than or equals to max row or i will be increased okay this part is done what we will do inside this we will simply fill 1d array so for traversing on the 1d array we have to define one index here initial value 0 so we will fill this 1d array using this and we will increase the index by one the left wall is done now we are on the bottom wall in the before going to the bottom wall what we will do we will uh, increase the min column by one to avoid repetition of the element the corner element that is getting repeated so min column plus plus after that one more for loop for the bottom wall and i equals to max row and j will be equals to min column this time j will traverse until j is less than max column less than or equal to max column j will be increased okay uh, there we don't need this That's by mistake okay so here what we are going to do now inside this again we are going to fill our 1d array here are ij and x plus plus okay after reaching this corner what we will do we will reduce our max row by one so the elements don't get repeat now again for the right wall i equals to max row j equals to max column this time i is going from bottom to top so until i is greater than or equals to min row i minus minus okay inside this for loop what is going to happen again the same thing we are going to fill the 1d array ij and our index will be increased again so now last about the top wall before the top wall we will reduce the maximum column by one now loop for the top wall and i equals to min row and j is equals to max column because on the top wall we are tracing from max column to the min column this time until j is greater than equals to min column j will be decreased okay now inside this also we will fill our 1d array our index will be increased again here after coming out of all these for loops we have all the data in 1d array now we will simply return that 
1D array. Now this 1D array is here, is stored in this part after coming back. Okay. So now we have to rotate that 1D array. So let's go and write this rotate function. L public static void. We have a value uh, an array 1D comma the value of R. Okay, this is done. Now what we have to do? Now we have to rotate this 1D array. So that we have done a lot of times as I told you. If this is the given array, we have to rotate it by one. What we will do? We'll simply take this part and bring it to the front. So it will become 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So let's we have two cases here to handle. First, if the rotation is greater than the number of elements in that array, what will happen then? Just suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I rotate it by 1, what will happen? will become 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. If I rotate it by 2, what will happen? 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. If I rotate it by 3, what will happen? 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. If I rotate it by 4, what will happen? 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. If I rotate it by 5, what will happen? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The same thing will come again. If I rotate any array by its length, what will happen? The same data will be received. So if I have to rotate it by 6, what will happen? Actually, I have to rotate it by 1. These two data have, will be same. So let's go and check this out. Handle this case first here. So for handling that, what we will do? I will take the modulus of R by the length of array. Now it will come inside the length of the array. Okay. One more condition we have handled. That was if the value of R is negative. Like minus 1 or minus 2 or minus 3. What we will do then? Just suppose this is the array we have. If I have to rotate it by 1, minus 1. By minus 1, what will happen? What will be the results? Let's write it here this one will get out and get at the last so it will become 2 3 4 5 and 1 so don't you think that this is the same as this either i bring these four numbers at the front or i send this one digit at the back the answer will be same so for handling this negative value what we will do we will simply add the number of elements in that array to the r if our r is less than 0 okay so add our length in the r this is done now it is a positive rotation now we just have to handle the positive rotation now what are the process to do the rotation so let me erase this then i will be able to make you understand better how to rotate one DA. Okay. This is it now. Just suppose one, two, three, four, five is the array. Okay. Now I have to rotate it by two. So what will happen? I will break it from here. This will be the part one. And this will be the part two. Okay. So if I reverse it the part one what will happen i will get a result three two one and if i reverse the part two, what will happen it will become five four and now this is the two process first process i reverse the part one then i reverse the part two after if i reverse the complete array what will i get four five one two three don't you think this is the answer that we are required after rotating this array by two oh five will come at the front and 1, 2, 3 will be at the last. So 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, this is the answer. So these three steps we are going to follow to rotate this array. Okay. Okay, let's erase this and write the code then. Here. We will reverse our 1D 
by some data we will figure out later now reverse one day again now yes now at the last we have to reverse the complete array so this data i am aware of that is from 0 to 1d dot length minus 1 now let's figure out this data what is going to happen here so if the array was 1 2 3 4 5 and its index will be 0 1 2 3 4 i have to reverse it from this so this will be part 1 and this will be part 2 so what will the starting point of reverse for part 1 it will be 0 so let's write 0 here 0 and what will be the last point for part 2 it will be 1d dot length minus 1 so 1d dot length minus 1 now we have to get these two points from where we have to reverse so what is this value just suppose we have to rotate it by 2 okay the value of r was 2 and the length of this array was 5 the length of the array was 5 and the starting point for part 2 was l minus r because 5 minus 2 is 3 that is the index of starting point for reverse for part 2 okay so let's write it down here one d dot length minus r and what is for this it's just one step back from here if it is three it is two i have to just minus one from this index okay it's very simple one d dot length minus r minus one now it is done now we have to go and write the reverse function public static void reverse inside this we are getting three values first one is 1d array and the second part is the point so first is left index the second is the right index okay now we have to reverse this here so while li is less than ri it's quite easy we have done many times reversing the array and all so inside this li will be increased by one every time and ri will be decreased by one every time okay these two things are fixed now before that what we are going to do we are going to get the value of last and the first and exchange it so first we define a temporary variable in which we will store the value of 1d li okay and after that in 1d ri li what will it store? We will store the value of 1d ri. And after that, we will modify 1d ri with 10. That's it. This will reverse the complete function, complete array. Okay. So the reverse part is done. Now we have to just fill back the part. So this part is very easy. It's same like this. Exactly same like this. Let's go and write it. Well, so public static void inside this we have three values one for 1d the second is for 2d array and the third one is s the number of shell okay all the code is same like this we just have to reverse one or two things let's go copy the code here first Come inside this, paste it. Okay, this is, we don't need 1D here because we already have. So remove it and we don't need to return something. This is a void function. Okay, now we just have to fill back array. In previous, what we were doing, we are filling the 1D array from array. This time we are filling array from 1D. Let's change this. Array IJ is equal to 1d index 
this is done now let's copy this and paste it everywhere here also all the part is done now now let's go and run this code and see what happens okay uh we have some small error at line number 55 let's go and see public static void okay aha uh -huh. the name i missed pull back now let's run it mm, one more small error at 85 85 what is happening uh, public static void again i missed the name oh my god Ah, so uh, at line number eight we have some error small small error and sing dot next int okay uh it's just a typing mistake you know let's run this uh, again at line number 15 Oh, same mistake. Okay, okay. I hope this is the last one. Let's run this. Mm, cannot find symbol at line number 32. Okay. 1D, new 1D size. Okay, what? Okay, new int. I have written the name. Let's run. is going out of index at line number 36 20 at line number 36 it is going out of index less than max row equals to min column nine and index is equal to err ij that's right and it's getting increased until i is less than equals to max row this is also good why it is x uh, okay uh typing mistake we have put close to here here we have minus one if it is a mistake here here also we have a minus one okay so let's have a look again on the code if i miss something okay uh here we haven't called the display function display the array this is done now let's run the code again and see okay this is accepted now let's submit it yeah, it's 10 by 10 so thank you so much for being here i hope you have enjoyed the video like and share the video and subscribe the channel thank you so much